This is the worst, most improved airport that we've been to. Come on, Bali. <laughs> Out of our room but we're still in the hotel. Peter is booking a hotel for Melbourne for tomorrow night uh, so we fly late tonight so we'll be sleeping on the airplane tonight sleeping we'll see how that works. Peter was up super late he was up until 5 a.m. this morning to launch the Happy Hobby website so that's up now amazing it's it looks so great he said, okay, when we get to Melbourne, we'll have to check the Wi-Fi speeds. So that way, when we leave the following day, we'll know if the Wi-Fi in the airport is strong enough to do our work. And I said, oh, good idea. Um, is it the same airport? You know, just questioning because we had that issue in Israel. It is not the same airport that we fly in and out of. But anyways, what? $87 to $117 Uber ride. An hour away. Yeah, it's an hour away. Well, I really hope there's public transportation because we will not be spending $100 taxi ride. So yeah, Australia is a little bit more expensive. All right, I feel like my bag looks a little bit bulgy. We're flying with Jetstar, new company. Uh, we are hoping that our bags will make it through. Um, we are a little bit overweight. We're not overweight. Our bags are slightly overweight. We are not overweight as, as individual people. Our bags being like one or two kilograms overweight kind of makes up for it, right? So anyways, time to go get some lunch. All right, so we're leaving Wanto. <laughs> yes, it was great uh, being at Kudo Eco's Day. It's like leaving a friend's house. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> See ya. We spent a total of seven nights at that place. One night the first time, then we came back for two nights, and now just four nights. So yeah, we definitely um, loved there, I guess. Next time we come back here, we'll have to spend eight nights there. It's nothing fancy. It's pretty basic. It's down this alley, but it was one of our favorite places, really friendly people, and it had everything we needed for the right price. It was $15 a night, and now what we spent on four nights, we're gonna go spend on one night in Melbourne. All right, back here. Hello. Hi again. Five percent humidity. Wait, what is the current temperature so right it's now? Current, it's currently 86 degrees here in Bali with 75 percent humidity. That's pretty hot. Right now it's 71 degrees in Melbourne with 56 percent humidity. Oh my goodness, it's gonna feel so nice. I should have worn my shorts because uh, it is just so hot. Um, <laughs> it is just so hot with my jeans on. Um, but we came back here because this is next to our hotel. It's great price, great food, probably the best like chicken soup I've ever had. So we we're excited to be back here. Ooh, I got some fried eggplant. Peter got some shrimp. Boing! Awesome. Did uh, managed it last time, so crazy. Good start off with it. A little hot there, Peter. Ooh. This broth is some of the best broth I've ever had in my life. So good. So good. Best chicken soup I've ever had. Uh, Bye. Uh, looks like some storm clouds. So to the airport. It's only going to be 30,000 is what it's saying, which is crazy because from the airport, you were laughing at us and we wanted to go for 100. Right. How much? Um, uh, <laughs> it's like um, 50. It should, be like, it should be like 30 to 50. No? <laughs> all right. That's all right. We're Thanks. Walking. We're just Thanks walking. Yeah. International Airport. Huge airport, wow. This is not how we entered. This is the international airport, it's so different. 
Alright, so we are here at the airport. We've been here about two hours now and we're kind of just in this waiting area. We got here nine hours early. We were hoping to make it through security to then like get some work done. Um, but instead, they have like an area out there you can get some coffee and then you walk through here um, and they check your bags and uh, not like security, just like, you know, a little scanner. And then you come into this area and now we're just waiting. All right, we were sick of waiting. <laughs> we're just gonna go for it. So they told us no, it's too early. Um, so we got here at two o'clock in the afternoon. We cannot check in until seven o'clock. But what that means is we have to go back out through the, where they scan your bags and go to, they have some seats out here, but it's not air conditioned. So in Bali, that's a huge deal. And today it's pretty hot and humid. And you have tons of people like inside this waiting area that are just like waiting. Like it's just not designed well at all. They apparently got an award for most improved airport. <laughs> so it makes you wonder what it was like before. Right. Yeah, this looks amazing, but just the functionality of it is really inconvenient. We have at least three hours, three and a half hours, that we can actually get work done on a table out here. So we might as well go and do that. Normally the airlines have allowed us to do check-in online, so we can just go straight through security. Right, we don't have to like but go. But here you can't. And I don't know if it's just with Jet Star, if it's with everybody, here, but. Oh my goodness, we got stuck with a heat wave when we came out here. Oh, it's so hot in here. What is this? I'm really frustrated right now. Like, we would have just stayed at our hotel and like got worked on there. Um, but we figured, hey, perfect, we'll get to the airport early. Flight takes off at 11 o'clock tonight, and we got here at 2. <laughs> Today was supposed to be a work day. <laughs> Hello! At least we have to look at this pretty garden. It's hard to tell, but this bench looks a little bit questionable. See the color it's supposed to be on the bottom there? Yeah. All right, so we're set up here. We're at a table. This is like a really nice spot to work. <laughs> the problem is it's really hot and very humid because we're like at a, like an indoor, outdoor spot. So I'm so frustrated with the design of this airport. That's the thing, I think when you travel so much like, yeah, you're flexible, but also you have high expectations because you've been to so many other like amazing places that do it right. And you get here and you're like, come on, Bali. All right, so we got politely kicked out. Um, we have to go to a different area. She's at the baggage repacking zone, which I think was that lounge area that we just saw. She said there's tables there. I didn't see any. We have to buy something if we want to be here. We have 20 of their currency left, which is um, like a dollar fifty. Um, but they don't have anything on their menu. Actually, they have one thing on their menu. You can buy one banana for that price. Water here is like three dollars. Anyways, she was very polite about it. We just have to have to move. All right, Peter, what's our mission right now? We're trying to find either a free place to sit down or a place where you can buy something for 20K. Everything's like 30K or more. Which is crazy because our like full on like gourmet lunch was 35K. Okay, so mission failed. <laughs> Basically we just got laughed at when we asked if they had anything on the menu for 20K, which is a little bit hilarious because 20K is equivalent to $1.50 and like, you could normally find something on a menu for that cheap, whether it's a cookie, a, a bottle of water, um, a, a, even a, even like an apple or something like that. They have a banana here that is 20k, but then there's um, a t two tax on top of that, and we don't have money for tax. So we will continue to go through here, make it back to AC, go back to where we were, where we thought was bad, but it's actually better than out here in the heat, and uh, in two hours check it. Okay, so we're sitting here waiting, and we've been here for a couple hours already. So we, I went to refill this water bottle, and I asked several people, and they all said the only water that we can get is on the other side of customs. So we have to go through passport control first, which we can't do until we're allowed to check in, which we can't do until three hours before our flight. So, this is the worst, most improved airport that we've been to. How did they get that award? Yeah. <laughs> so sad. Come on, Molly. Alright, we finally made it to the other side of security. Uh. Yay. Now it actually gets the work done. The duty-free shops here are serious business. There are a lot of really nice shops. 
Um, and also, like, they just got, like, brand new, like, security. Oh, look how nice this is, huh? So inside here is great. I don't know why, but this is a room of fortune. Yes, it is. Holy cow. Peter, you want to you wanna hop in? <laughs> These are the cutest house booths ever. I love it. That's so cute. This looks super nice. Wow. I wish... I wish we could have came here earlier. I don't get it. Doesn't make sense. All right, now we're gonna find out what we can spend on this side for 20K. Oh my goodness, the Coke is 62? Why? 39 for water, guys, that is, we spent less than that for eggplant, chicken soup, and shrimp. Success. How are you liking your grape soda? Good. Pretty I good. Do it very often, but it's good. I've had a grape soda in years and it brings me back to my childhood. It's a long time. It's great. All right, time to look to make sure I don't fall off backwards. We keep changing gates around here. We were supposed to be at eight and now we're all the way at one and it's actually quite far away. Unfortunately, the walkways do not go both ways. We don't have a moving walkway. I have to use my own feet. I'm just so tired right now. So it's 10.30. Our flight leaves in 45 minutes. And we're heading to Australia. I'm so excited. When I was 10, there was really only two places in the world that I really wanted to go to. Hawaii, which I've already been to, and Australia. And now we've been a whole lot of other places. Um, and now I finally get to go to Australia. Peter's filling up the water and he's telling me to keep moving because I uh, slow down when I'm talking to the camera. We got to meet two really awesome um, girls from Australia and they just got me so excited about Australia. They were telling us, yes, go and see this, go and see that. Love listening to them talk. They taught me some slang words, um, yeah, how they call it like petrol for gas stations and a bunch of other things I can't remember at this point, but we will be sharing different Australian slang with you as we learn them. So yeah, sorry if this is a bit shaky. I'm trying to walk fast and all that walking and I went from eight to seven. So yeah, that just gives you an idea of how far these gates are really spread apart. There you are. So Bali's airport is definitely gorgeous. Huge, really awesome ceiling, um, but the functionality of it and the staff not the greatest because now the staff, you know, whoever's running this show made us go all the way from eight to one. While we were here, there's been at least three other ones that have been switched. So they're already boarding. Okay. <laughs> so now they heard us down here. Big old line. Then they bring you into like this vat and it's not air conditioned. I'm burning up right now waiting um, for them to now check our passports. Why did they do that when there was AC? <laughs> Oh my goodness, so apparently you can't take water after you buy it in that area out there. That's nuts. Now we have to like funnel into here. This is so unorganized. Okay. So there's like a waiting area out here after that. And there's more shopping. The Australian friends that we had met uh, when we were in the airport were letting us know that in 2004, unfortunately, they did have a terrorist attack here in Bali. And so because of that, they've really cracked down on security. Um, but that is the first time I've ever seen where after you've gone through the main security, if you buy a bottle of water, you have to give it up when you come through this part right before boarding the plane. So yeah, super strange. Whoa, this is pretty big. Oh man, my shoelace is undone. I hope I don't get stuck on this. Not what happened? Back. Stop, I'm trying ahead of you. What happened? So I got on this and I was expecting it to go. So I'm like, my momentum's like carrying forward because I'm expecting it to go and I'm almost like fell I'm out. still dizzy. And here it's did more announcements, probably switching gates for other people. Um, so hang on, I'll wait for her to be done.